David, how did you see this topsy-turvy game tonight in Inver? Um Listen, coming into the game, there was a lot of eyes on us. Um, I spoke humbly, honestly. I felt after the uh, after the defeat against Glentorn on Friday, we were so disappointed, we were hurting. Um, and it's probably not the easiest place to come to, uh, considering the record down here. But again, we've won so many trophies. Um, and it's been some incredible experiences, winning on the last day and winning cup finals. Um, there's been other games, you know, I, I, I recall Glen Avon a number of years ago when we were down to nine men uh, and we showed spirit coming back to draw the game to each. Paul Smith's equalised later on. Uh, equally tonight, if we lost the game tonight, if we lost the game 2-1 tonight, of course the initial reaction would have been disappointment, frustration. Um, but I was incredibly proud of the players. Uh, the effort we put in, we changed and altered the shape a little bit. Um, I thought we were threatened the first half without creating too much. It was once or twice we probably should have been a little bit better, uh, picking the right pass. Um, and then when you go down the ten men, I thought it was a really, really. I thought Kyle's first yellow was harsh. Um, I thought he got the ball. Um, but again, I thought there was, I thought there was numerous questionable uh, decisions tonight. Sort of went against us. Um, but again. Credit to the players, they stuck in, we took the lead. Uh, Aidan Doherty put a magnificent ball in, a uh, great header by Ewan. Uh, we then lost the lead and then we went behind and they showed the spirit. You know, could have been easy, could have been feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves on the occasion tonight, maybe a little bit from, from Friday. Uh, and Braden does what Braden does. I was asked six months ago, what does Braden do? What does Braden bring to the team? Well, Braden does that, he brings goals. And the calmness for one so young is penalty into the bottom corner against an experienced goalkeeper. Uh, Aidan Doherty, Reese Annette, you know, the younger players who come on. Dave McCulloch making his sort of first start tonight. I couldn't have been more prouder of certainly the younger players, but again, you know, you always have to tip your hat off to the other players who played, the more experienced players. We were like the walking wounded there tonight. We we had to empty the bench. The only one that we couldn't use was um, David Walsh. Shields went off, which looks like a bad injury. Jamie went off. Kyle was checking yellowed. Uh, Fitzy had to come off. Uh, Josh Archer had to come off. Um, but again, you know, we know where we are at the minute. We are thin. I've said this for a while now. We're thin on numbers. But what we won't be thin of is a little bit of a little bit of energy, a little bit of youth, a little bit of naivety at times, of course. But um, the players are, of course, they're tired in there. But with uh, we're three and then a try, which is uh, incredibly important. You mentioned the spirit and character of the side. Just how important was that tonight, especially after Friday night's well, result? That's, that's what it was all about. Again, we were all hurting, you know, no more so than myself and the players. Uh, I know the supporters were equally probably as embarrassed or let, felt let down. And again, I explained that after. Of course, it's not been too many times in my time here uh, where I've sort of felt like that or felt they sort of use them words. Um, but the players, as I say, we show courage tonight. You know, with the uh, with the situation that we find ourselves in, they find a way, uh, and it's important in cup competitions, especially. Uh, sometimes the odd league game where you find a way to win a game, and the players certainly done that tonight. A semi-final now. To look forward to a way to Dungannon or Newry. Yeah, again, we look forward to it. Um, put that on the back burner now. I think it's. In January at some stage or February, whenever the next round is. Uh, we look no further than Dungannon at home on Saturday in the league. Uh, we know that's our bread and butter. This was equally nice. Again, we lost we lost four penalty shootouts last year. Uh, the European game, the Scottish Challenge Cup, uh, the Irish Cup down here in the, uh, the County Anthem. So it's important again you know, that we find a way in a penalty shootout. Uh, that you hold your nerve, show your nerve and then hold your nerve. Um, so hopefully we can use that going forward. And finally David, talk us through how cold it is here tonight. I see you wearing two hats here tonight. Is this something, is David Graham trying to get a few extra sales in no, the I shop? No, I don't know. I don't know whether these are on sale or not, but if this one's in the shop, I would certainly <laughs> rush down to the shop and maybe spend your small percentage if you have, uh, if you're not paying for your tickets around Christmas time but again no I don't even know why I have the two hats on uh, I, I think I wore this hat last year on Boxing Day so maybe it's uh, when he two scored the winner so maybe it's a little bit of luck but I say credit to the player I'm so pleased for the players honestly um, I said to them in there I've 
I care so much for them, and that's why at times, you know, I don't think I've ever publicly criticised any individual. Uh, you need to be careful of that because you don't want to lose anybody, especially with the, uh, the small stature and the small numbers that we have in the round of squad. So, so pleased for them tonight. I care for them dearly, and I say we move on now. It's only. It's only a quarter final. We've not won anything. We never get too carried away. We never get too excited. Uh, other people do. Other clubs do at times. We don't, uh, and we manage the dressing room with the expectation levels that we have, and we try and drive the standards. Well, thanks very much for your time this evening, and best of luck for Saturday. Cheers, Stuart. Thank you, David.